Welcome to this podcast entitled Basic Principles of Inflammoscopy. In this podcast, we will not analytically go through the separate criteria that can be seen in different inflammatory skin diseases. This will follow in future podcasts. Instead, in this podcast, we will focus on the basic principles of inflammoscopy, so on the parameters to be evaluated when applying dermoscopy on inflammatory skin agents. And these parameters are the vessel's morphology, their distribution, the color of scales, the distribution of scales, disturbances of the hair follicles, as well as specific loose. The morphology of the vessels is maybe the most important and common criteria to be evaluated when applying dermoscopy in inflammatory lesions. To keep it simple, two are the basic morphologies that can be seen in inflammatory lesions, dotted vessels and linear ones. A characteristic example when the morphology of the vessels itself is the most crucial criterion for the diagnosis is the differentiation between dermatitis, which is typified by dotted vessels, both in its acute and chronic forms, versus mycosis fungoides, which displays at its early stages short and thin linear vessels. However, the morphology of the vessels is not always enough to predict a specific diagnosis. For example, these very common diseases all display dotted vessels. Sometimes, very often, the distribution of vessels is the critical criterion for the differential diagnosis. Five are the basic distributions that can be seen in inflammatory lesions. A regular one, meaning homogeneous, symmetrically distributed all over the surface of the lesion. In clusters, similar to the one we see in Bowen's disease. Patchy, meaning asymmetrical but without following any specific pattern. In rings, which is a typical distribution for psoriasis, and peripheral. Going back to the image we saw before, all these four common inflammatory erythematosquamous diseases display dotted vessels. However, only in psoriasis the arrangement of vessels is so homogeneous, so symmetric, so regular all over the surface of the lesion. And in this example, this is the most crucial dermoscopic criteria. The color of scales might be basically white, yellow, or a combination of the two colors. A characteristic example when the color of scales is very important is for, for the differentiation between numular eczema and psoriasis, which could be very difficult on clinical grounds. By applying dermoscopy, immediately one can see the yellow colored scales in dermatitis. Instead, in psoriasis, Yellow scales are extremely uncommon, while typically the color of scales is white. The distribution of scales might also be important for the diagnosis of some diseases. Four are the basic distribution of scales that can be seen in inflammatory lesions. Central, peripheral, diffuse and patchy. A characteristic example of psoriasis, which usually displays central white scales or diffuse scales, in contrast to Pteriasis rosea, which is typified by a peripheral collarette of fine white scales. Disturbances of the hair follicle are also important criterion in a subset of diseases with the characteristic example of discoid lupus erythematosus, in which at its early stages the most common dermoscopic criterion is a whitish halo surrounding the follicular openings which might be, or not, filled with keratin plaques. Finally, specific clues do exist and they are absolutely predictive of a specific diagnosis. For example, the Wickham stria can only be seen in leaked planus lesions, or this peripheral collarette corresponding histopathologically to the so-called cornoid lamella is absolutely typical of porokeratosis.